One day, Gordon the Big Engine was taking the express, but was soon slipping on the rails to a standstill. It took some time before Gordon finally ran out of steam and came to a stop. Soon enough, Gordon was being taken to the works by Donald, while Henry took over the express finding the whole incident rather funny. <laughs> well, well done, Gordon! <laughs> A few days later, Gordon came back from the works but Henry wouldn't stop his teasing. Fancy that, eh, Gordon? The fastest engine on the whole railway, and yet you can't even make it out of the platform. It was out of my control, Henry. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Nonsense. Unlike you, I am a sensible engine. You wouldn't see me doing any slips like that. Pa. Your path's clear, Henry. Away you go. Goodbye, Gordon. Don't do any more damage to the station rails while I'm gone. <laughs> Henry had to go to the works for a maintenance checkup. It was noisy and crowded, but Henry didn't mind. A few days later, Henry went on his way home. While the works had fixed Henry quite well, they unfortunately did it too well. His regulator was left quite stiff, and the driver found it very difficult to move. And once he finally did, Henry usually had to make up for lost time. And it didn't help when he went on hills, either. More steam, driver! Bother! Rotten regulator. Oh, bother this hill. Bother these coaches. Bother the work. Soon, Henry, along with his crew, became very annoyed. I don't know how they do things at the works, but moving that regulator constantly is starting to really become a burden. Don't worry, old boy. It's not your fault. You just need a bit of a tune-up. That's all. Just then, the station master walked up. Henry here needs to take an important express to Vickerstown. So Tom has orders. No way. Absolutely not. His regulator's jammed. He can't pull the train. Let me remind you, driver, that we're on a very tight schedule, and Henry here is the only engine available. Now get moving. We haven't got time to lose. Ah, uh, I... Ugh. Come on, Henry. Let's just do one more job, light lift, and then we'll fix you right up. Bother. As Henry backed down into the platform, his coaches were already there waiting for him. Henry tried to set off, but he couldn't. His regulator was still jammed when his driver tried to open it. 
Henry's driver tried, putting all of his might into it, and was almost about to give up. Then it happened. The driver tried to close the regulator, but nothing happened. Oh no, the regulator's jammed wide open. What? Oh dear! We better do something or his valve gear's gonna come right off. Henry was soon feeling hot and bothered. He couldn't do anything to stop himself, nor could his driver, when suddenly... Hmm, I've got an idea. Well, whatever you're doing, do it fast. The fireman quickly grabbed his shovel. Stand back, driver. Henry's fireman hit the regulator hard with his shovel. Then again, and again, and again, until... Got it! Brakes, driver! Brakes! The driver applied the brakes, and with one more effort, Henry and his train finally came to a standstill. The old engine and his crew sighed in relief. The fat controller stepped out of his office to see what was going on. He went towards Henry and pointed at his crew. Both of you, what is the meaning of this? I think the culprit is the regulator, sir. Ever since Henry came back from the works, it's been jamming quite a lot. It's really a burden. Hmm, I see. The fat controller soon spoke to Henry. Now then, Henry, you will be shunted back to the sheds where you can be fixed up. You can then stay there for the rest of the day. Yes, sir. As for the works, I will be having a little chat with them about regulators. Good day, Henry. Soon enough, Henry was shunted back to the sheds, where a workman was waiting with his tools. Come on, Henry. Let's get you fixed right up. Thanks. Don't feel bad, Henry. It could happen to any engine. Anyway, it could have been worse. Could have been? Are you serious? It will get worse as soon as the others find out. Henry's incident was soon spread across Sodor by the other engines, and it was only a matter of time before Gordon found out the whole story. And when the engines got back, all they could talk about was wheel slipping. Fancy that, eh, hey, Henry? What was it you said? You wouldn't see me doing any slips like that? Well, it happens we've come full circle. Please shut up. Well, at least I've come full circle. You don't go a quarter mile till you finally slip to a standstill. Soon enough, all the jokes died down and the engines went to sleep. All except Henry. He had a lot to think about.